today being Monday, July 1st, 2024. So before we can get the stump grinder, this is one of the stumps that, this is one of the trees I want to cut. It's been dead for a while. It's an ash tree. I want to stump grind that and be able to straighten out and fix that part of the trail. So here's our tree. And I have run, let's see. Yeah, you can kind of see the line that runs down there. I don't have the come along. I just kind of uh, tied it off to give it a little bit of tension. And we're going to cut this and see that stake right there. That's where we measured the top of the tree should land if all goes well. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I thought I, I might have, yeah, say I hit the wedge with the chainsaw. Good thing it's plastic. Yeah, so we set our hinge right here and we cut, left about an inch for a hinge. I cut this part first, put this wedge here and then cut this part and then tapped and she came down. Now I'll show you where a little bit of my concern was so let's see right there is our stick let's see how we did but there's also some see those vines up there yeah that was my concern that it might swing a little bit but it came down pretty straight okay so over here is my stick And that whoop, is where we started from back there. So we did pretty good. Time to limit up. And then we'll bucket. And <coughs> we're good. Okay, said dead ash tree, and we got that into one, two, three pieces for the sawmill. This piece I think we're going to, I really don't need firewood, it's not really loggable for, for board, but I think I might cut that in half or quarters and put it into the chipper, because I could use uh, wood chips because I have to eventually finish even in all this trail out here. All right, we gotta go get the uh, log dolly, pull these logs out, and I get the stump grinder this week, or in three weeks, because we're on vacation in between there. And I cut this and stump grind it, and even straighten this path out a little bit. All right, so we did 
cut this tree. That's probably four inch diameter and we put it up there. And I normally don't like to cut live trees, but like that was the one, I, everything lined up. I just needed that one tree out. So we're gonna use a stump grinder on this one too. And then we can finish off setting the, the boards on this side. Yep, so all the way down there. So we straightened it out pretty good. We gotta fill in the flats in between as we cut them now. Some of these, we need more wood chips and uh, uh, level out these uh, sideboards. You can see they pop in that, but we'll get there. At least we got the structure in.